When you're learning how to TIG weld, this, the last thing to come is the filler wire hand. One way to doing it is to pinch the filler wire in between your first two fingers and then alternately pinch it between your thumb and your palm and you can feed quite a bit of wire like that. If you need to go a little bit faster, it works really well as you can see right here. You can pump a lot of wire under a weld if you're into production welding using this little technique. A little bit more precise way maybe, like when you're lay wire uh, welding a root pass in a pipe joint and you just kind of need to go a little bit slower but it needs to be precise would be like this where you're using all three fingers and your thumb doing the old itsy bitsy spider thing. Alright back to the first method you're really pumping wire in there you can see you can this is a little bit sloppy but you can see you can really really shoot some wire. Sometimes you need to wear a glove sometimes it's just too hot and it's always wise to wear a glove I know all about cancer and all that crap but anyway a mechanics glove like this one is a good way to feel the wire. Unlike this big sloppy extra large TIG glove, although it feels really good, it's really comfortable, it's too big and you can tell that uh, it's just not